Hey guys, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. You might have seen some of the sneaks and today I'm going to show you content aware crop inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, thanks for watching. This week I'm going to show you the content aware crop. Now this is great for photographs for when you're straightening them to fill in those little edges and things like that. And also where I love these uh, is for panoramas. I love doing panoramas and this is another tool to make panoramas a lot better and a lot easier to work on. So let's jump in and have a look at it right now. All right, let's have a look at the automatic content aware tools. So we've got content aware crop and we've also got it when we're merging panoramas. So let's start with cropping. So here we have a photograph that's crooked and we want to straighten it up. So this is actually, I shot this, I think in Laguna Beach. And I'm just going to grab my little crop tool here. And to straighten it, we grab the straighten tool and just simply drag it along the horizon. And then we release it. Now here's a problem with that. Look at this, when we've got this set to delete crop pixels, Notice this, um, it's actually going to throw away all this information there in our, um, in our photograph. So we're not going to get those edges because it needs to crop to those edges. But however, we can extend beyond that. So if we take these corners and drag them out, and we'll drag out the other corner here, and we want to include the whole photograph. So there we go, we've got that. The problem with that is look at all these areas where there's no information. So these would be just filled in with white. And previously we'd have to go in and we'd have to manually try to fix these. But now if we turn on the content aware, so this content aware fill is actually going to fill in these little gaps. And let's make sure that we take it all the way out to the edges. So we're going to make it hard for this. Let's do that right there. And then we click apply the crop. And look what's going to happen here. So Photoshop here is actually going to automatically fill those edges with content aware fill and look at that. So there we go. We've got a nice crop there and we haven't lost any of the information around the edges of our photograph. So it's actually just uh, created those little edges for us. And if you get an area there where it looks a little hairy or a little weird, it's no big deal. Just make a selection around it, shift delete for content aware fill, and then just click OK. And you can just, there we go touch it up manually. So there we go. So that saves a lot. Otherwise, we'd have this little bit in the middle there and all of that would be gone. Let's look at the second use for this is when we're working in a panorama. So what we're going to do is we're going to automate and we're going to merge, uh, choose the photo merge option, which is where we do panos and we'll just use auto and we're going to browse. So I've got this mural that I shot in Chicago. I'm going to select the four images there where we made the panorama, click open, and now all we're going to do is we're going to choose to blend them together. Yes, we do want to do that. But we also want to do content aware uh, fill on the transparent area. So we're going to click OK. And this is going to create a panorama, but it's also going to fill in the edges. And the other thing Adobe's done too, if they've actually made the algorithm work even better for content aware fill like this, than it would be trying to do it manually afterwards. So you can see around the edges there, those are the areas that would have been uh, just nothing, transparent pixels and it's uh, filled that in. So you can see it's done a pretty good job. There's a couple of areas that might need a little bit of work. Um, I see that area there. I can make a selection there and then just drag it over there. Actually, why don't we do this with the patch tool? So let's grab the patch tool, make the selection there, and we'll go there and fill it in. And also it's a bit weird here. So why don't we just make a selection around there and drag that over to there and release it. So as you can see, this content aware crop is a great tool. It's going to save you a lot of time and also it's going to get you some really great results very quickly. So thanks for watching. If you want to become part of the cafe crew, hit that subscribe button right now. We'd love to have you on board. And every week I'm going to have new tutorials coming right your way. And so until then, don't forget, add a comment, hit the like button. And until next time, I will see you at the cafe.